Last week I updated my coffee bar, and one of the most common comments, aside from "We're so glad your dad is better" and "Congratulations on your engagement," was, "How did you do that little print art?" So today we're going to go over that. Let's go. Hello, welcome back to The Crafty Organizer. If you are new, welcome, thanks for visiting me. On this channel, I love doing things for organizing, decluttering, doing DIYs, upcycles, and anything crafty. Last week, I made this custom little art piece. Now, I had seen this art before. It's called Newsprint Art, and usually it's a hand-painted watercolor, but I am not that talented, so I decided to find a watercolor image on the computer get a page out of a book and print it. And today I'm going to show you just how easy it is to create a little piece of art like this. If you Google newsprint art, there are so many different options which will really get those creative juices going when it comes to deciding what you want to do. But here is the easiest way to create this DIY newsprint art. Go to your Google search engine and type in whatever type of decor you like. In this case, I'm going to do farmhouse watercolor with a white background. This will make it super easy to lay onto the white paper. Now, make sure you are on images only. That will pop up so many different options. Now, there are many you can buy on Etsy and they're not very expensive. You could see the print prices here. But what I usually do is right click on an image and if it pops up with a save as option, then I know I can print this for free. So I will save this into my desktop, into a folder that I have so I can find it easily. And here are some of the other options that I had already selected. I was a little distracted by these cows because they were so cute. But I finally settled on this little sunflower in a milk can. Now I'm going to be doing this Mary Englebright print at Christmas time, but we'll talk about that later. Now open up your word processing. In this case, I'm using Microsoft Word. Create a new document. And what you'll want to do is go into insert and you're going to choose picture as what your insert is. Then you're going to want to pick where your file is located. Again, I mentioned I always use my desktop so that things are easy to find. From there, it's as simple as choosing the image that you want to print in your document. So here are my sunflowers. Now you'll notice there are some things around the outside. You're going to click it once and then choose the crop feature on the menu bar. Now there are boxes that appear on the outside. You're gonna click and hold that box to slide it around to crop it as close to the image as possible. Now you're gonna click it once again to select and from the drop down menu, you're going to pick size and position. This is why it's important to crop it close by because now you're going to enter the desired height and width of your picture. If there's a lot of dead space, then your image is going to end up being smaller than what you want. Once you've got the right size, click OK and your image will appear the full size. Now to play with the transparency, if you want more of a watercolor look, you're going to right click on the image again and you're going to choose Format Picture. This will pop up with a new box on the right. You're going to click on the picture icon and choose picture transparency. Now right now it shows zero transparency, so you're going to adjust it. If you want it very faint, you would choose 50% of transparency. Once you find a setting that you like, it's as simple as printing the image. You're going to print directly on plain paper. And the reason I do this on plain paper first is so that I can see exactly where to place my newsprint afterwards. If you already have a large sheet of newspaper cut down that will fit into your printer, you can print directly on your printer, provided that your printer can handle thinner paper. I like to use my printer paper first and then lay over whatever I'm printing on afterwards so that I get it set up. But let me show you what I mean. Once my page is printed with the image on it, now I can go ahead and get out the media source that I want this image onto. In this instance, I'm going to get a book that I use pretty often for my ephemera. 
and I'm going to find a full page of block text. Once I have a full page that I like, I'm just going to get out a little X-Acto knife and I'm going to run it down the seam. And I know this kills you book lovers, but it's what I do. I do clean up the edge on a paper cutter, but once I have it set up, I can get the printed paper and I'm going to lay the page with print over it. And I do this because as you see, as the sunlight hits it from the back, I can immediately see where it's going to be even on the page. I can adjust it so that my image is perfectly aligned. Once I have it where I want it for the printed image, I'm going to put tape over the top. Now I can place it right back in my printer one more time and I can print it and it will be exactly where I wanted on the page. Because I use scotch tape and I don't adhere it well, I'm really just tapping it lightly so that it stays in position in the printer. I can easily remove the scotch tape and it usually doesn't interrupt the paper at all. Every once in a while it will take a little corner, but as long as I'm really gentle with it, I can cleanly remove the tape and my paper will be just perfect. Now I can separate it and either discard that original print or use it for something else, but here is how the finished product looks. I think this is such a fun way to create customized art for gift giving or your own personal use like I did with my coffee bar. This is the Mary Englebright image I'll be using at Christmas time. I'll be sure to share how I do this. Now her information is copyrighted, but I have a ton of books and I took a picture of a book that I own. So I'm hoping Mary, if you're watching, you don't get angry, but I will only be using it for my personal use. If you are using this to sell, please make sure you are following all of the copyright rules or that you've paid for the permission to use it. But I love the look of this. As I said, I have watched these art pieces before and I've always been tempted to buy one, but I just knew I could duplicate it. And I'm so glad that you guys had asked about it because I love sharing how I duplicated this look. I will be taking a couple of days off. I'm taking a little trip with my girls, so I will probably not see you until the middle of next week, but I definitely wanted to get up a quick video. The next video will be the coffee filters. I did not have time to finish that, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you liked this video, please give it a like. Click that subscribe button for more content like this, and thank you as always to my patrons. I could not make these videos without you. I will see you guys in just a few days. Bye.